Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 27th, and it is a very warm day here in southeastern Pennsylvania, which is what June 27th should be, so that's a nice change. Just loading up my Marksman Jumbo, got some haunted bookshop in my pouch. Why I'm using the pouch, you'll understand in a minute. And let me get this lit. So this video is a bit later in the day than usual, um, and there's a reason for that, because I had a good time this morning. <laughs> hmm. Larry Blackett, uh, beautiful, beautiful cannon hammer. This was a prototype that he was kind enough to send to me, and the cannon removes, the base can sit on your desk. And you can use the cannon as a tamper. Uh, I, I think this is beautiful. And Larry is now officially selling these as part of his Fourth of July collection. So, and and this is a very reasonable price for you know given the weight of this thing and everything. It's it's very reasonably priced. So check out Larry uh, buttons for your britches on uh, Instagram and I believe also on YouTube. I'll find out. I'll put some some links down below. But uh, great guy, and I just ordered a brass monkey off of him, uh, which is one of his new tampers. So I'll be showing that off as soon as it comes in. But yeah, I, it's funny, I, I was never a tamper guy. And Larry's turned me into an outright tamper collector. Terrible man. Terrible man for doing that. Just what I did not need another hobby. So today, this morning, I went fishing, and it's been a long time. I I, I haven't fished since uh, my cancer diagnosis. You know, so that's really a long time ago. That's like six, seven years now. And uh, you know, initially it was because I was sick and going through treatments and everything. And then I just I just couldn't. I was I didn't have balance. I didn't. You know, I just wasn't comfortable uh, walking along streamside and stuff. This year I feel pretty good, and uh, unfortunately the weather has not been very uh, uh, agreeable. So today it was warm, but I got up early, and I just went to uh, to local lake and did some bluegill fishing. So I'm going to put some video in uh, that I took. I hope this turned out. I haven't even looked at the video yet. But hopefully I'll be able to patch in here some, some video and some pictures and things like that. Uh, got a couple pictures of the uh, few of the fish that I caught. I mean, these are Pennsylvania bluegill, so they're not that big. I mean, most of them are, you know, something like this. There's one that I'll put in here where uh, this, this was like a hand-sized fish. That's very respectable for, for this area. So I was happy with that. But they, I'd catch and release. It was just for fun. And uh, fun for me, not for the fish, you know. <laughs> we had a great time. So I'm going to switch over to that video. But before I do, I just want to let everybody know, in case you missed my live stream on Friday. And by the way, Doug Owen was a fantastic guest. So if you did miss it, go watch the replay. It's, it's well worth the time. Um, I So this coming Friday, I'm not going to be doing a live stream. Uh, instead... Uh, Jason Mouton is going to be doing a live stream on his channel that is an auction for uh, the benefit of Le Don Mott, uh, Briar Blades family. And uh, I'm glad that he can use that time slot and hopefully everybody that would normally watch me will head on over and, and watch Jason's auction and, and maybe bid. He's, he's going to have some beautiful pipes. Several pipe makers in the YouTube pipe community have uh, committed to, uh, to providing pipes to this auction including Jason. He made a beautiful poker, and you can see that on his channel. Uh, so it's going to be a fun event. There's going to be really nice stuff to be had in the auction, and of course every penny of it's going to benefit uh, Ladon Mott's family, which is a, is a good cause, yeah, since he just passed away earlier this week. Earlier last week, I should say. So, um, don't don't forget that, and I'll try to mention it again at the end. So let's see if this video worked out. You 
Good morning, folks. I am here at uh, Lake Nakamixon, one of my favorite places to go fishing in the summer. Not a um, not a trout lake by any stretch. It's uh, mostly bass and panfish. I just come here for panfish. I'm hoping that this is set up right and, and recording because honestly, I can't see the monitor at all. So I apologize for that. Uh, and I got the microphone working, but I, I intended to bring a windscreen and did not, so you might have some wind noise. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. Um, this is not my favorite spot. I'd rather be down there a bit, and I'll, I'll pan you around, show you the, the lake and stuff. But uh, there's a family already set up down there. This is a very popular spot for picnicking, so that's, that's one of the problems. If you don't get up here early enough on the weekend, it's hard to find a spot. But this is not a bad spot. I'm just, I haven't been fishing in years. You know, it's, uh, I won't go into the whole story, but I had some health problems that knocked me out for a couple years. And then after I recovered from that, I had some really bad balance issues and just wasn't, uh, you know, cause, cause I fly fish, so casting was a problem. And by the way, I'm, I'm going really simple today. So this is, this is a marksman jumbo. I'm not going to smoke while I fish. If, if I was going to be walking a lot and smoking a pipe, I would have taken a corn cob just in case I drop it. But uh, I'm only going to be taking a break here and maybe, maybe when I'm done having a pipe. So I got the jumbo, got my pouch of haunted bookshop, I got my lighter, I got a check tool. I'm a happy guy. Got some coffee. This is a Yeti knockoff that my dad bought for me a couple years ago as a, as a Christmas gift. And it is, I can't believe how long this keeps coffee hot. Anyway, going to be fishing for panfish. I got my rod here that I'll show you, which I of course put under the tripod. There we go. So it's a pretty standard fly rod. I, I made this. This is one of the first ones that I actually made. And uh, it is a seven foot three weight, so a fairly light rod. Uh, I got my Orvis sling pack, which I really don't need, but it's got everything in it, so it was easy just to grab it. And the reel I'll be using is a G Lomas. I like these reels. Um, this is a four weight line. I overline just something I got into doing and. You know, I, I, I like casting one weight up on my lines. And beyond that, you know, I got, I got the, the typical stuff. I got some hemostats for getting hooks out. Stupid little bluegill can really swallow your hooks. I got some nippers for uh, taking flies off, putting flies on, clearing the, the line and whatnot. And of course the flies. And, uh, I haven't opened this in a long time, but th these are going to mostly be trout flies. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter for bluegill. They will... I think they take an empty hook, to be honest with you. I might have some bluegill flies buried down here. Those are all trout. No, these are all dry flies, trout dry flies. Um, lots of elk caddis and things like that. I'm not going to open them up because they'll blow all over the place. It's, it's fairly windy. So that's about it. I will... Oh, that, that'll be nice. I got a little... Let's just show you in there. A little red ant. Red ants and there's some black ants down in here somewhere. Right around here. They'll take those. Uh, hoping to do some off the surface fishing, but if not, you know, something simple like this is a, um, uh, what's it called, here's your, here's your nymph, and uh, that's got a little bit of flash in it, that'll work out just fine, so, yeah. So that's me for the morning, I'll, uh, I'll show you around the lake a little bit, and then I'll button this up, put, stick it into a video later today. So, hope you're all having a great Sunday. Uh, if I catch any fish, I'll put some pictures in if they're worthwhile. Bluegills are usually about that big. <laughs> Take care, guys.
I've been coming here for years, and it's a beautiful lake. Um, really makes me. I, this is one of the main reasons I want to get a kayak someday. I think it would be a great lake for, for kayaking. Um, down there, the see you but it's been a couple hours like riding a bike it's nice I should have mentioned this is my lucky fishing hat which I've had for well you can tell how long I've had it and uh, it's fished with, with me a lot of places that I can't even remember the names of. In addition to being lucky, it makes an excellent place to dry your flies. It's definitely livened up here a bit. I'll pan you around. That's the uh, boat rental area. You can see how many boats are out there. There's my geese friends. They got a bit too friendly earlier. I guess they got tired of all the people because it has gotten much more busy here. But you know, that's what a park like this is for on a Sunday morning. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Caught, uh, I don't know, 10, 15, I stopped counting. Little guys, you'll see some pictures. But it's not about the fish. Um, this is about casting for the first time in several years and that came back to me pretty quick. And also just having some fun being out in nature. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to put a little intro in when I get home. I probably will. But in case I don't, or if I just get lazy and decide not to put an outro, is that a word? I'll take care. Enjoy your Sunday, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye now. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if it didn't work out, you just saw a sign saying it didn't work out, and now I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I promise you it was a good time. So I'm going to not waste any more of your Sunday. You get back to uh, having a good time. Enjoy Sunday. Have a great week ahead. I'll be back on Wednesday and then off on Friday, and we'll talk more about what I'm doing because I'm actually going to be uh, going out of town for a little bit. So we'll talk about that on Wednesday. All right, folks, y'all take care, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.